think Simeone himself may try uh, the shot here. Chipped in again towards Ruggieri, in actual fact, and Kanija, oh, he didn't need it, because sneaking in behind him was Batistuta, and he finished off in style. And in truth, any one of about three players could have finished that one off for Argentina. 28 minutes gone, Batistuta has given Argentina the lead. And it was a free kick, and the power in the air again of Ruggieri that helped to undo the Venezuelan defence. I think that's what they tried to do with the first free kick. They've given it enough air this time. Ruggieri gets underneath it, superb ball across the box, and if you say any one of three or four players could have stuck the ball in the net. Very, very poor marking by Venezuela, especially when they knew that that's exactly what they were going to do. Argentina were just going to throw it in there. Nice start, it takes a wee bit of pressure off Argentina. Now perhaps they can get starting to, to, to play a little bit. And that sort of confidence, that nice that the Argentinians have all certainly possessed. So Gabriel Batti... Latere. Basualdo. Plenty in the middle for the cross here, if he delivers a good one, and he has, and Kanija, splendid goal. Right on the stroke of half-time, Argentina have extended their lead, and Kanija, the scorer, unmarked, admittedly, but he dispatched it away with ease and a great little flourish. Good goal. Yeah, excellent goal. Stuck it in well. He almost stood down to head the ball into the net, Alan. But uh, completely on mark, Venezuela. And that's two old-fashioned crosses that have come in. You know, we talked about the old British game, you know, where it was like a dying art, wasn't it? That they were flinging a few balls in and everybody were throwing all sorts of remarks that, that this was not the way to play football. Argentina to a situation. The ball with Simeone. First look at it before we actually see it coming up here. I thought it was a handball. I thought um, I thought he's played across it. Dory, a wee bit unlucky in the fact that he's very close to the ball. But um, yeah, yeah, definite handball. Yeah, and uh, you can usually tell the reaction Simeone was closest to him. He, he wouldn't have bothered to appeal there, I'm sure, if he hadn't have known. And the referee saw it. And so Batis Dusta, whose name one of these days I'll get absolutely right, has the opportunity to score his second goal of the game. He's making it worse for him. He's really taking his time about allowing him to take the kick, making sure the goalkeeper's in the right position. And Batistuta can make it 3 0 here to Argentina and has done. How many times do we say goalkeepers would only stay still? They probably have more chance of saving penalties. They instinctively dive. And I don't know what the statistics are, but about 80% of the time the ball seems to go dead center of the goal. See it again. You're absolutely right now. Stands up, stands up, hits him in the bottom of the ankles. Good view from behind the goal here. Actually, it was in the corner a bit more when you see it from the angle. 